Have you ever wondered what an earnings multiplier is? Or perhaps how it might be a key element in determining the value of a company? Well, today we dive into the fascinating world of financial metrics and unravel the mystery of the earnings multiplier. Picture this, you're at a bustling marketplace, surrounded by vendors selling a myriad of goods. One vendor catches your eye. He's selling apples and he's selling them for $2 each. Now you know from your usual grocery shopping that the average price for an apple is around $1. So why is this vendor charging twice the price? This is where the concept of an earnings multiplier or price to earnings ratio comes into play. In the world of finance, the earnings multiplier is akin to the price tag on those apples. It's a financial metric that helps investors determine the market value of a company's stock relative to its earnings. In simpler terms, it tells you how much investors are willing to pay for every dollar of a company's earnings. Imagine a company, say, Fruitful Ventures. Now, Fruitful Ventures has a stock priced at $50 per share, and their earnings per share stand at $5. To find the earnings multiplier, we divide the share price by the earnings per share. So, 50 divided by 5 gives us an earnings multiplier of 10. So what does this mean? An earnings multiplier of 10 means that investors are willing to pay $10 for every dollar that Fruitful Ventures earns. The earnings multiplier can give us a sense of whether a stock is over or undervalued. In our Apple scenario, the vendor charging $2 per Apple has an Apple multiplier of 2, suggesting his apples might be overpriced unless there's something particularly special about them. To summarize, the earnings multiplier is a crucial tool in the realm of investing. It provides a snapshot of how the market values a company relative to its earnings. It's like a price tag, helping investors determine whether a stock is over or undervalued. Remember our friend from the marketplace? Just like him, investors use the earnings multiplier to gauge whether they're getting a good deal. And as with any financial metric, the earnings multiplier isn't a crystal ball. It can't predict future earnings or market conditions but it can provide valuable insight into how the market is currently valuing a company's earnings. It's one of many tools in an investor's toolkit and when used wisely can help navigate the ever-changing tides of the financial market. So the next time you're looking at investing in a company, remember to check the earnings multiplier. It might just be the key to making a smart investment decision.